Welcome back to the channel, guys, and absolutely those beautiful, lovely lady subscribers. Thank you very much, and much appreciated you come back to the channel. Today, I got to talk about a few things. You know where we are. We're at Simple Customs. You know, I've been collecting, buying, selling for a long time. Then they stopped for a while. I got back in it, collected, and I said to myself, I'm retired now. Let me get back into the hobby. For the last four or five years, I got back into it. Let me collect. I used to customize remote control car bodies. I used to customize models. I used to customize a whole bunch of stuff. I said, let me, do, you know, see what this hobby is about. So I watched a few videos, and I said, okay, let me buy some stuff again, keep myself busy, uh, see these cars, things I like, I buy customized cars, beautiful, collect a few cars that I like, nice. Then, as you know, it always gets out of control. That's how it happens. And then COVID hit. And then everybody and their mother wants to collect Hot Wheels and customize cars, which is fine. That's cool. That's that's what you want to do. That keeps you busy because you can't leave. The, you know, you can't go out in public places. You got to wear a mask. You got to do all this crap. That's cool. And then you want to start collecting. That's great for the hobby. Then you got the scalpers coming out, the resellers. They want to, you know. The resellers, I don't mind because I'm a reseller. But we're, we're, I like reasonable resellers. <clears throat> the other resellers is another issue. You know, I get it. You know, things, just, things go up in price. The cost of living is crazy. You're not getting any raises in your paycheck. And... You want to make extra money? Yeah, that's beautiful. That's all well and good. You know, I have no problem with that. You want to go to the flea market and get a table or a boot, and you want to sell cars and this and that and make an extra couple hundred dollars a week. Yeah, that's fine. I got no problem with that. But sometimes you get probably 70% of those people that when they go and they find stuff and they open cases and stuff and they're taking 10, 5, 8, 10, 12 cars of each because they're hard cars and they can flip them quick. That I got a problem with. It's Even if you take 10 cars and you sell them for 5 bucks a piece, that's $50. You know, so out of that $50, you're going to make... Three bucks a car, three something a car. So that you're making thirty bucks. You're not actually making the fifty dollars. You're making thirty bucks. So you do that. Uh, you know, you get to sell all those cars. You make three hundred dollars for the for the two say two hundred dollars for the day at the mark flea market. So you go Saturday and Sunday, you're making four hundred dollars a week. Uh, I understand that money comes in handy for your family. Uh, they say, oh yeah, wow, I'm making four hundred dollars on a Saturday and Sunday. I can do this every weekend. So they go and they get greedy. And they're taking all the cars away from the other collectors. Now, you know, oh, wow, now I'm making five, six hundred dollars a week. You know, that's, that's what it is. Money's the rule of all evils. Remember that. It's not going to get you any richer, five or six hundred dollars a week. You know, see me? I still, I'm still here. Like, you're watching me. I sell cases. I saw dioramas. I saw all kinds of stuff. You know, I make money. Yeah, of course, I make money. I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be doing it if I didn't make money. But I do it for enjoyment, and I put it back into the hobby. Material wood. I don't. You know, not back into the Hot Wheels, because I only buy Hot Wheels. I only buy castings I can use for customs. And a few castings. You know, if I see five or six. cars that I can flip right away, you know, I'm not going to pick up all five or six of them. I'll pick up two or three of them because I'm, I know they're for 
people that I know that collect those cars. They're not resellers, you know. And I don't even charge them a lot of money for those cars. If I buy them for a dollar twenty-five, I charge them a dollar seventy-five. Because I gotta go, of course, I gotta go drive into the store my time. I could be getting three or four or five dollars a car for those. I sell them for a dollar seventy-five or three for five bucks. Two dollars a piece, three for five bucks. I'm not it's not about the money. You know, it's that's what gets me with this hobby. And then I watch a few videos today. People are in uh <clears throat> hobby lobby hobby lobby. They're in Walmart and oh I'll take three of these. I'll take they see it, they they hit they they find the little score and <clears throat> They find, uh, like, an ultra red. I watched one video. Um, the guy found an ultra red, and then I read down in the comments, and this guy jumps in there and, oh, you, you keep that for the future. That's going to be worth a lot of money. You get big money for that car. This, yeah, ultra reds, red editions. They're going for, what, 40, 40 bucks to 80 bucks, 100, whatever it is. I don't even know. I don't even keep track of those. If I see them on the pegs, I leave them. I don't even take them. I'm not even interested. Because around here, no one really collects ultra reds and red those red ultra reds and what, whatever it is. I don't even know what it, what it is. You know what I mean? I'm not into that. Yeah, you can pick up an extra 40 bucks, 30 bucks. It's, believe me, it's not going to be... Whoever buys those cars... For that kind of money, for forty, fifty dollars, or thirty, if you find them on the pegs, and you keep them in your collection, that's fine. And then ten or twenty years down the road, you might get twenty dollars on it. It's it, believe me. Let me tell you guys something. Auto World wouldn't be put, releasing those cars for what? What's the price? I don't even know the price of those cars. What are they? Six ninety nine, eight ninety nine, whatever it is. Ten ninety nine, whatever, whatever. I don't even know because I don't even I don't even buy those cars. But um. You know, I like all these young collectors. Oh, yeah, it's going to be... It's only worth what some nitwit is willing to pay for. That's like I said about the red line, even the red line cars. Yeah, you want to collect red line cars, but you, of course you want to get them for a, a good price. You spend 200 150 on a red line car, even like an old matchbox. I laugh at these people. You know, no, no you want to collect... That's your business. That's That's... And you can guys can get mad at me all you want. I'm just telling you how I feel and how it is, and I don't want you guys to waste your money. You know what I mean? It's if it was worth that much money, don't you think Auto World would be selling those ultra reds in what are they, white lightnings or whatever? Whatever they, I don't even know what they are. You know, it's don't you think they'd be selling them for forty and fifty dollars <laughs> if they are there? All their workers would be stealing these cars or buying them from Auto World and then reselling them. That's what they're probably doing anyway. So this, you don't know how many of those are out there. These companies got us buffaloed. Believe me when I'm telling you guys. You're all caught up in the hype. Don't get caught up in the hype with all these cars because it's going to cost you to go broke. You ain't going to be able to pay your bills. You ain't going to be able to make your car payment. Then you're going to have to set up a table and resell them and get and make money on them to pay your bills. Because you can't fake pay your cell phone bill. You can't pay your rent. You can't do this. You can't pay your credit card. I've seen thousands, thousands of people. And I've, I've known thousands of people that they call me up on the phone. Oh, you want to buy my collection? You want to buy this? I need, I, I, you know, I spent, I ran my credit card up, three thousand, four thousand dollars. Now I gotta pay it. I can't pay it. I gotta pay my bills. This, my wife's getting mad at me. This and this. I'm gonna get a divorce. It happens all the time. These companies are in it for themselves. These big corporations. They throw anything out there. They throw the fishing lure out there, and you're the fish, and you come by, and it's hook, line, and sinker. And they're reeling you in like a bass. And once they get you in, they grab you by the tail. They take the hook out of your mouth. And you put your car in your showcase. And you sit there and you look at it like I do over here. Believe me, I had over 25,000 cars. I had... When I, when I started this, probably 40 years ago, 40... Started this before you guys were even alive, some of you guys. 
I'm 61. I've had Hot Wheels since 1969. I was nine years old. My father used to buy me the red lines, the sweet 16s. I had them up until I was 15 years old. Then girls come into the picture and ruin everything. <laughs> no, I'm only fooling. Girls come into the picture, you start dating, you start playing sports, and the things sit in the case. They sit in the, your room in a shoebox up until you're like 18. You know, and then you're still playing sports. You're going, now you get your license. You buy a car. Now you're going out with your friends. Now you're, you know, you're doing all kinds of crazy stuff. Cocaine. Doing all this other stuff. You're going to the racetrack and gambling. You're betting sports games. I've been there and back again. I've been around the world. You know what I mean? And, you know, and you spend your money that way. And you're blowing your money. And then you start turning 21, 22... And then I'm, I'm off to Hawaii for five years. I give the cars to my nephew, all the stuff I had. My nephew from 1969 all the way up to 1985. How much were those cars worth? All right? Let my nephew have a ball, pay for his college tuition or whatever, whatever he did with him, you know? Bought a car with him. That's fine. That's what they're there for. Now, the 90s... I go back to work, I come back to Boston, I go back to work, I do this. I don't collect Hot Wheels from 90, 91 to 2015. I get back in it in 2015. I collect, I collect, now I'm getting into it heavy. I moved down to South Carolina in 2018. Now I gotta move fucking like, $20,000 $20, worth of cars. 2019 COVID hits. Collecting more. Now I can't, you know, 2020, you can't find any cars because everybody and their mother's collecting these things. 2021, I, I look at myself and I said, Am I crazy? I did this once, I went through the mill once, I'm not going through it again. I got a closet in a room, you know, garage full of Hot Wheels. I got to start selling some of this stuff. Like you all say, I got to get rid of all my extra drunk. I push everything away, I find a guy, I, you know. I lost money, I didn't even, what I spent on the cars, I, didn't, I got half my value for, not even. That didn't bother me, I just wanted them out because the wife was getting crazy. Now, you know, I start customizing again, and there's, I only keep a few castings, and now I'm giving stuff away to kids. This, this last year, you know, 2021, giving stuff away, giving 100 cars away for Halloween, giving 50 over here, giving 200 to charity, 300 to this charity, the fire department, the police station, my friends, whatever. Mailing cars out to people. I spent thousands of dollars mailing cars out to people. I still got boxes over here. So don't get mad at guys that you haven't got your boxes from me because I got so much stuff going, you know, going to people. You're in the line. You know, sometimes I jump over here because it's a cheaper box to send out, so don't get mad. I got a list. I know who's on the list like you. It's, you know, I know I got a few people. Marcos, Ivan, Big A, you know, I, uh, Sammy, C, Sammy C., uh, Cameron, Annie, uh, Mike Esposito, I, I, got, I still got your boxes, I didn't forget you guys, you know, but it gets monotonous after a while, you know what I mean, it's, I'm sure you sat in your chair at your desk, in your garage, your hobby room or whatever, and said, look, am I nuts, <laughs> and, you know, just, I see a few guys on YouTube stuff, they're cutting their collection back. And they only collect, but then I see them go out and hunt again, which is fine. You know, you want to, you know, you want to keep up with the Joneses. But believe me, young collectors, please, don't go on in the comments and say, "Oh, it's a, and stop talking about money." I don't care if anybody gets mad at me or whatever. I don't really care. You know, I like my dedicated subscribers who subscribe to me, and that's, I love those guys or girls, especially the ladies. You know. You, it's it's fine. I don't care if I lose 20 subscribers. It's not like everybody's worried about the subscribers. Oh, I hit 400 subscribers. Oh, I hit seven. Who cares about four, hitting 400 subscribers? You're not going to make, like, 
you know, it's like this big YouTube thing and TikTok and uh, I'm a I'm a t TikTok person. I'm a you know Instagram thing. And how many of you guys really have time to watch Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, all the guys' videos? You know, and I know people in our community too, big community members. They don't watch all your... They subscribe to your channel, yeah. But they don't want... I got 200... I don't even know how many subscribers I got. 284, 287, or whatever it is. 250. I don't see a third of those people watch my videos. There's only a selected few that watch my videos. And they come on. And they comment. I don't see 287 subscribers comment on my videos. Which it don't bother me. But I'm just telling you. It's like, you know, people out there get 10,000 subscribers, 5,000 subscribers. How many of those 5,000 or 10,000 subscribers really comment and watch your videos? Probably 57 of them. You know, it's always the same people over and over again. Yeah, I know. It, it's You don't have time to watch your videos. But don't pop on in, in someone's video when you don't... When you don't watch them consistently and then make a comment like, oh, dude, hold on to that. That's going to be worth a ton of money. It ain't going to be worth a ton of money. Believe me. It's only worth what someone wants to pay for it. Believe me, if these cars were valuable, you they wouldn't be in your hands. They wouldn't be hanging on the pegs at Walmart. It's either. either the employees over there would be taking them and flipping them and getting a quick buck and making whatever they want to make for them. Or the people at the warehouse, which I know, which I understand from somebody at the the Walmart distribution center or some of these toy manufacturing dis distribution centers. People are cutting the boxes, taking good... They, say they got 20 boxes in front of them. They're cutting the boxes, opening them up, taking all the good stuff, and then replacing other boxes with other cars, and then they leave them in the distribution center till they get more stuff, and they refill and switch them around and ship, retape them up and reship them out. My friend bought 10 boxes the other day. From some company, I'm not mentioning, I'm not going to mention it from who. It's not AJ and Toys, it's not Ghana Toys, it's not, some other company, it's a small company. I was over his house the other day, and I was going to make a video and stuff, but I said, ah, I don't want to make a video, Dave. I'm going to go back over there and make a video after. He's got a, a barn full of cars, you know, he's another one, he's got a million cars. He's probably got $100,000 worth of hardware. He's been collecting for, he's 75 years old, he's been collecting for 60, 60 years. He's got cars going back, back and back. I can buy them all if I want. He, Eddie, I'll give you a good price. He's not. He's got money anyway. He's he's got tons of land. He's been in South Carolina for seventy five years. He's got his father's properties. He's got properties all over the place. He don't. He does this for a hobby. He goes. I didn't realize how many cars I got. He goes. I must be a nitwit. <laughs> I go. Dave, you're crazy. He's got neon signs. He's got probably a hundred thousand dollars worth of neon signs. The guy's nuts. He don't know what to do with all this stuff, you know? But, and then people want them. They want them for nothing. They want to steal them. They, they, you know, they want them for $2 a dollar. These cars are big money cars. He goes, they don't want to charge all the money for these cars. I'm like, Dave, <laughs> I, I realize that, but people want them for nothing. He goes, if I put a car up for 5 bucks or 10 bucks, he goes, they want it for 2 bucks or 3 bucks. <laughs> so they can turn around and flip it or they want to put it in a collection, but they don't want to pay. You get what I'm trying to say? It's mentally retarded. See, collectors are cheap. Believe me, I know. I see everybody out there on YouTube. They want this, they want this, but they don't want to pay. Don't tell me you don't want to pay. You want everything. A lot of YouTubers want everything for cheap, for, for nothing. But they want to take and put it in their collection. But the guys, they, they want it. They know they can flip, but they don't collect it. They want big money for it. Don't lie. You know, I've seen it a million times. You know, they say they, they buy the car anyway, but they don't want it in their collection. But they want to flip it for big money. So they can buy stuff for their collection. Am I right or wrong? Let me know in the comments if I'm right or wrong. You know, and if I'm and if I'm wrong, you can come through this camera and bite me in the face. <laughs> but it's mentally retarded. You know, this hobby has gone way out of control. Like red lines, red line cars. Yeah, they're nice to have. They're nice to collect. You want to collect? You know, that's what you do. They're fine. I I got nothing against collecting, guys. But don't overfill your your collecting area with a million cars you're not gonna collect. You're going to flip afterwards. 
because you're tired of looking at them. Like, you know what I mean? You know, there's a lot of collectors out there on YouTube, and they're big, they're big YouTubers and they're big collectors. They got a million cars around them. Now, if they got to move or something, or time to move, they got to pack all that stuff up. That's days, days of packing all that stuff up. Boxes, it costs money to do that stuff. You got to pack all that shit up, buy boxes, put them in the cases. Or... Believe me, that's my saying, how they knows. He moved from Arizona to South Dakota. I ask him, he'll tell you. He'll tell you, it is a pain, but he, you know, that's his, he likes to do that stuff. He's got a big channel. He he does his races. He does all, he's an entertainer. You know, that's what, you know, if you want to be an entertainer, you want to be a big YouTuber, yeah, that's fine. You know, you got guys like Pete Time Racing. You got guys like uh, all those guys that have, a, uh, like, but Lamley gets his cars for free. You know, <clears throat> but that's another thing. You know, everybody sees Lamley opening up boxes and stuff and getting all all this stuff, and uh, right away they get on the phone and they, they call up and they want all the boxes. Then when they get the boxes, they hold the little junk in them. Of course, you're not John Lamley. <laughs> Nothing against John. John's a great guy. You know, you know he does a lot of a lot of good stuff for charity. But um, but I don't know. This hobby's getting out of control. It's like baseball cards, sports cards, sports memorabilia. You know, I watch YouTube videos and that that guy that um. He, he does the um, card collector. Great, great YouTuber. He owns a, he has a store, a sports memorabilia store and stuff, and he goes to all the shows and spends 10000 20000 But he flip he's in a business. He He's buying cards, working deals with other vendors, and he's and he's uh, making deals. He's spending lots of money to make deals. That's the thing. you got to spend a lot of money to make good deals. You know, oh, yeah, you do 8000 on this, yeah, because he knows that 8000 he can get... You know he's a high end he's a high end collector he's a high end card store. You know spending eight twenty thousand fifty thousand eighty thousand at a time. You know a guy like me and you, I could do that if I want to, but I'm not gonna go travel the country. This guy travels the country, goes in hotel rooms, and he has to he has to do high end stuff because if you don't do high end stuff, he ain't gonna be able to pay for all his trips, his hotel rooms, his store maintenance, and all the store people he got hired. <clears throat> so. To spend big money, to make big money, you got to spend big money. It's like Hot Wheels. But um, I shouldn't say it's like Hot Wheels because uh, the card market is probably... Yeah, I don't know. Hot Wheels and I don't know. It's like anything else, you know. But it's... Um, yeah, I don't know. If you want a business or a storefront... You gotta pay rent, and you gotta do all this stuff. Yeah, you gotta, you know. Then you get cards to get graded, and he, he sits on the cards for a little while, and he gets them graded. So he buys a card for a hundred dollars. He has a grade that costs him another twenty. That's a hundred and twenty. He's got into it. If if he mixes in a deal, and he sells the card for seven hundred, you know what I mean, and or a thousand. So he's making that big margin profit right there. You know, and he's got guys to buy him. He's got. Clients, he's got clients. You know these guys who own stores. They go online, they go on eBay, they put stuff on Macari's or whatever they do, and they open up to sellers. And there's people out there with big money that want these cards, like the new cards, like Justin Herbert, um, Joe Burrow, um, Josh Allen, Mac Jones, all the, the running backs, all these guys, all these um, hot hot cards from the Bills, the Bengals. The Rams, the Raiders, all you know, the Patriots, all these, all, all their top-notch players, you know, and they're, these cards are drawing big money, five thousand, eight thousand. You get an insert card, an autograph card. They're drawing big, huge money. Wax boxes. I went to look at a wax box the other day. It was two hundred and eighty dollars. Who in their right mind is going to spend two hundred and eighty dollars on a wax box? And then there's this, these cases, the briefcases. They're eighty-five hundred dollars, eight thousand, and you get. You get three cards in there, whatever it is, ten cards in there, eight thousand dollars, and you're hoping you get a, you're hoping you get a Josh Allen card in there, or hoping you get one of these top-notch players in there with an autograph, the one one and you can sell it for twenty-five thousand. <laughs> it's it's it, it, believe me, the the card market too is the same thing as the Hot Wheels. These companies that luring these guys in to buy these cases for eighty-five hundred, ten thousand. 
They're the ones who are making millions of dollars. No, you knuckleheads. Yeah, you get a case, you find a $10,000 card in there. How many times you buy a wax box and you say, oh, I'm going to get something you spend $300 on. And you open it up and you, you get a card. Uh, you get sent it in and get graded. I'm going to get $2,000 for this card. Uh, $3,500. But then you end up getting nothing. You end up getting below the value of the box. And nobody will say, ah, I'm tired. You, you do that three or four or five times. Now, you, now you're into it for $1,500. Now you finally get a card that's worth $1,000. You lost money. It's like it's like playing scratch tickets. You, you buy fifty dollars worth of scratch tickets. You scratch them. Oh yeah, I won thirty. The guy goes, oh, yeah, I've been with a couple of friends of mine. And they buy a hundred dollars worth of scratch tickets. I won sixty dollars. You didn't win sixty dollars. You lost forty bucks, dude. You spent a hundred dollars to get that sixty. What are you a knucklehead? You know. So they get the sixty dollars. They go, oh, give me another sixty dollars worth of scratch tickets. They bring their sixty dollars with the scratch tickets back home, or in their car, and they're in their car and scratch it. Oh, I won thirty dollars. <laughs> you didn't win thirty dollars. You lost forty. You spent sixty. You lost another thirty, so you lost seventy seventy dollars. <laughs> then you take that thirty and you go back to the store. You buy thirty dollars more scratch, and then you won ten dollars. Oh, I won ten bucks. You didn't win ten dollars. You lost twenty more. You not go ahead. And then they take that 20, go back to the store, they scratch the tickets, no, nothing. So you lost $100. Oh, you lost more than that because you lost, <laughs> you kept going back to the store in actuality. $500 with the scratch ticket. You know what I mean? It's like my mom in law. She, she goes, give me $200 with the scratch tickets. I'm laughing at it. I get him $200 with the scratch tickets. Oh, I won $80. You didn't win $80. You lost $120, you knucklehead. Go get me. Eighty dollars more. Oh, I won forty dollars. You didn't win forty dollars. <laughs> you lost money. Go get me forty dollars more. Oh, I didn't win nothing. Yeah, of course you didn't win nothing. <laughs> you lost two hundred dollars. Then uh, go get me fifty dollars worth of scratch tickets. Oh, I won twenty five bucks. No, you didn't win twenty five bucks. You lost two hundred and twenty five dollars. <laughs> See, this is what I mean. The lottery. The lottery is like a thief. And then over the course of six months, you spend $3,000 in scratch tickets. All of a sudden, you're, oh, I won 1000 I won 1000 You didn't win 1000 You lost 2000 because it cost you $3,000 during the six-month period that you played scratch tickets. Then they take that 1000 and they go, go give me $500 with the scratch tickets. <laughs> oh, I won 200 You didn't win 200 you are not going you know, that that's what makes me laugh. I laugh. You know, I don't play scratch tickets. It's a waste of money. You know, once in a while for the, the holidays, I'll go buy some $50 worth of scratch tickets. I'll go buy... I'll go buy $50 worth of scratch tickets for the wife, for the mother-in-law and my daughter. You know, so I'll, I'll go buy... I'll go blow 150 200 I know I'm a loser right away, you know what I mean? But I love all these people like that. You know, it makes me laugh. I'm running on 28 minutes. This is crazy, you know. Just a little rant about Hot Wheels and scratch tickets and sports cards and stuff. <laughs> you know, so young kids out there, you know, get smart. Go buy stuff that you can use. I'm not telling you to get out of the hobby. You know, it's... I'm not telling you to get out of the hobby. Go to the store once in a while. Go spend $50 or $30. Go to the different stores and pick up a couple of cars that you really want to keep in your collection. That you want to keep in your collection. Not cars that... And if you don't collect it, don't buy it. You know what I mean? Don't go around. And I'm not saying don't pick up any cars for anybody. Oh, I'll, I'll pick up this one for this one, this one for that one, and then I'll make a trade. Yeah, that's all, that's fine. You know, that's fine. You you guys want to do that? But then you get to package it up, box it up, and you're going to go to the post office. You're going to mail it out, and then you get your trade back and stuff. Yeah, that's what you guys like. That's fine. I, I don't have a problem with that. I do that too sometimes. But, you know, it gets to a point where, you know, you know. The best thing to do, buy cars, buy customs off of customizers. You got Hewitt's out there. Go buy Hewitt's cars. That's an investment. Go buy Philly T's cars. Those are investments. Go buy Manny's custom garage cars. Those are investments. Go buy Tom's. 
Calip, uh, 50 caliper cost, caliper 50 customs. Go see Tom out there. Buy his cars. Jay, but Jay don't sell cars. Jay's not in it. He does it for the hobby. But help him out. You know, he's got two girls. Buy car, buy some cars off him. In the comments when he's on and stuff, Jay, can you make me a car? I'll throw you 50 bucks, 75 bucks. When he's got time, not right now. He'll probably do it in another year or two to get back on it. But when he gets back on it, Offer him some money for the cars. I'll send you 50 bucks. I'll send you 100 bucks. I'll send you a couple of cars. You know what I mean? Help him out. You know? It's like uh, Old Man Diecast. Do the same thing with Old Man Diecast. You know? Um, any of these collectors. Help them out. You know me? I don't care. Don't send me. Don't. I don't even like charging people. If I get my own clients all over here for my customs and stuff. You know? And I give them away $25, $35. It cost me that to make it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Between the tires, I just use that extra money to buy tires, paints, and all kinds of stuff. But I really haven't been using the spray boot. The weather's been a little shitty. But um, I gotta buy some paints. I gotta buy a whole bunch of stuff. And whatever I sell for cases, I get that money put away. I gotta go buy some stuff, material. So I'm not putting that money in my uh, my pocket. Even Derek, like, go on Derek's thing and buy cars off of Derek. Uh, see me from 713. All these guys, Mad Vision, all the whoever makes customs, even help out Charles from Charles Knight Cash Garage. Send him a few bucks. You know, Charles deserves the money. He's got some beautiful customs. He made me a couple of customs. Uh, the gas, a joke, a gas in the Batmobile. And he's got a box on me that he's going to send me. Hope he sends me that car, the for sale rusty gas. I want one of those, Charles. No hurry on the box, Charles. I know you're going to send me a box, man. And then uh, Bruce Solo sent me a box. Yeah, Bruce Solo's another one. Uh, get a hold of Bruce Solo over there. Zolo's Customs. Bruce makes some outstanding cars. He does some great. Brad, miniature Mustang. Mr. Steve Young over there. Mr. Steve Young's got some outstanding cars. He's unbelievable. He does some great cars. I got to send him his monster. I got his box over here, too. Sorry, Mr. Young. I'll have it out there. I got to send out a couple of boxes first. I gotta send out my pink slips, and I gotta send out another one to Paul. Uh, he want a custom off me too, Paul from Fat Guy Productions. I gotta send that out. I was supposed to send it out yesterday, but I had a bunch of things come up. A friend of mine got into a car accident across the street, and I gotta go babysit their dogs and take their dogs out. She's stuck up in Buffalo, New York, uh, and Tim's working. Tim probably watching my video. I'm glad everybody's all right, Tim. I'm going to go over there in a little while, go feed the dog, let the dog go. Um, my daughter babysits for them great people. I give Harrison a bunch of cars all the time. Harrison loves me. <laughs> Harrison's a great kid. I give him a whole bunch of Hot Wheels and stuff. The two kids, the Ukrainian kids down the street, they're great. <clears throat> I give them a bunch of cars. The other two kids over there and a bunch of other friends of mine, Dale, Dale Dertron, a friend of mine, <clears throat> I give a whole bunch of stuff away. But I, I've been on here for 33 minutes, ranting, raving, and talking all kinds of crazy stuff. I love my subscribers. I appreciate you guys very much. I just want to give a little rant to those young collectors. Pay attention to what you collect, dude. Really, pay attention to what you guys collect. Stop driving around seven days a week thinking you're never going to get the cars. They'll be out there. Relax. You'll get them. Don't worry about putting the oh, yeah, that that's you know. Stop going on eBay. Stop going and paying extraordinary prices for these cars. All you knuckleheads out there. And, you know, you know, do what you gotta do. You know, it's enjoy the hobby. Don't make it an obsession. A lot of you guys are making it an obsession. Obsession. You know, it's, uh, <clears throat> I got rid of a ton of stuff. I sell whatever, whatever someone wants to buy. If I got it. You, I sell it, you know, I'm not making a killing on it, I, yeah, so I want someone else to enjoy it, that's the name of the game, I had it long enough, now it's time to move on, you know, like other collectors say, you know, you look at it, how, how long you going to stare at it, you know, it's, I've been looking at this car for five, six years now, yeah, it's, I'm getting tired of it, I want to move on to something else, and you sell it, you get a, get a few bucks for it, you want to make a few bucks on it, yeah, that's fine, I get nothing against it. You know, you had it for five or six years. No one's going to get that car, you know what I mean? You're going to have to spend big money on eBay to get it. So if someone wants to buy it for your price, it's worth it for him because he wants to enjoy it for a while. I have no problem with that. 
that's that's it. You know, that's the name of the game. Like everybody, you know, I know a guy who certain had cars for thirty years. Eddie, it's time to move on. I get the money, I give it to my granddaughter, my my grandson. I said that's that's what it's about. Pass the car on to someone who wants to enjoy the car, and then you get the money and you pass that on to someone who can enjoy the money, or if you want to enjoy the money. That's what it's all about, guys. So don't get crazy and buy, you know, <clears throat> then I see one little rent. And then I see a whole bunch of these people sending boxes, huge boxes of cars to the YouTubers. And it's got 10 cars in it, 20 cars in it. Yeah, the guys are customizing. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> 20. You're not, never going to get to those 20 cars you, because you got 20 other more cars. And you get 10 more other cars. And you got five more other cars. And you got six more other cars. <clears throat> You're never going to get to all those cars. I don't care. You know, give them away to somebody who can use them and, and enjoy them and stuff. You know what I mean? That's someone that can't get cars. You know what I mean? And that's it. You know, and don't send 10 cars, 15 cars to a guy. You know what I mean? Because they get other, 10 other people sending them stuff too. Send them two or three cars so you can customize and enjoy and give them away or sell to make money. There's plenty of cars out there to, to customize. You don't need 10 or 15 cars of the same cars. <laughs> you know what I mean? Spread them out. Spread the cars out to people. Other YouTubers. Spread them around the world. You know, spread them around. Uh, give them away to kids in your community. You know, you, you complain, oh, shipping cost me $30 to ship these cars. Cost me $20. Cost me $15. Don't do it. Give them away. You know, these guys, these guys got plenty of cars. Plenty of, you know, I'm not saying this because I don't want them to, have, to get cars. They got enough cars. They got a million cars. And someone's always going to send them the box. So don't say like, oh, I'm, I got to send this to this guy because, you know, don't worry about that guy. He, he's getting cars from everybody else all over the country. He'll get cars, believe me. Or he'll find, go out and find cars. You know, you, know, you don't have to send them a... 10 pound box of cars <laughs> because he's getting six pounds from another guy, five pounds from another guy, three pounds from another. Send him a nice little box with a few cars things in it, and then that's it. And do a quick YouTube video. And you're happy, he's happy, yeah, because he's getting 10 other boxes. And don't put a burden on him, you know what I mean? No, you don't have all these YouTube, uh, you don't have to send me all this stuff, you know. That. No fool. <laughs> all right, guys. It's 37 minutes, almost 40 minutes, wasting your time. I just had to give a quick rant out there because, you know, I'm tired of looking at, you know, watching some of these videos and having young kids pop on or whatever. And, oh, that's worth $40. Yeah, you make good money. Believe me, guys, get the money figure out of your head because the only ones that are making money are these big corporations and they don't give a rat's ass about us, you know. They want to, like I said before, they want to throw the worm out there on the hook. Let it sink down to the bottom. And there goes the YouTube collector swimming in the bottom. Oh, <laughs> grab a hold of it. He sets the hook and reels you in like a fish. It happens all the time. Everybody's going down that big rabbit hole. I see, guys. You know who you are. I'm not going to mention your names. <laughs> The, the rabbit hole's getting bigger and bigger. The houses are getting cluttered. The wives are getting mad, believe me. The wives are getting mad. Even if they're standing there, like, smiling and everything. and uh, Inside, it's burning them up in their stomach, believe me. I, I get 60 years of experience. 60 years of experience with women. It eats them up, be, be, you know. And every time you're in that hobby room making a car... The areas are flaming. Believe me. I got a lot of experience. Go play with your toys. You play with your toys more than you play with me. Believe me, I, I, I used to hear it a lot. Now I fade away a little bit. <clears throat> like some people want, want customs for me and stuff. But I haven't been made. I made a few customs. Finished them up for like three months ago. And it's like six, seven cars that I just, I had them for like four months. I've been. Because I'm not in here every night, you know. And then you, you get people, we go on Instagram Live late at night. That's the only time I get a little freedom is late at night, from 12.30 at night to 2, two o'clock at night to talk to the guys and enjoy, and enjoy stuff. My wife works her ass off. 
I'm retired. My wife works six days a week, 12, 14 hours a day. I don't want her out there working 12. She don't need to work 12, 14 hours a day. But the post office got no one to work for. They got no people that want to work. These young kids, they don't want to work. They want to sell Hot Wheels. Get off your ass. Stop selling Hot Wheels. Go to work. Go apply for the post office. They look, they're dying for people. $20 an hour. Who? They don't want to work. You can live comfortably with $20 an hour down here. They don't want to work, these kids. You know what I mean? And she has to do like three, four routes. She's a royal carrier. No, I don't want her out there 14 hours a day. Five days a week, eight hours a day, splitting. She don't even have to work, my wife. I don't want her to work, but she likes to get out and enjoy herself. <clears throat> I don't know. And you wonder why she gets mad at me because I'm in here building toy cars. You know, <clears throat> one of these days, I just got to do what I'm going to do, slow my custom down. I'm only going to make certain custom for certain people, and that's it, and no more. As soon as I get rid of this shit, load of boxes, and a few guys on the list, that's it. I'm done. If you want cars off of the Godfather, you contact me, eddiepipandria at gmail.com. Uh, or in my video in the comments, you can let me know. But uh, don't let me know for a little while because I, I want to get all this stuff out, what I got. And wait till the middle of the spring. I'll make a few cars for people and that's it. I'm not going to make no more stuff. It's, uh, <clears throat> that's it. I'm not going to make no more stuff. And then I'm only going to go on a personal basis. And then if you've been my subscriber for a long time and you're in my comments a long time, yeah, I'll make you a car for free. If you're not, I'm going to have to charge you a commission on it. It's not going to be a lot of money. It's uh, $35 plus shipping and handling. I could charge $50, $55 for shipping and handling plus shipping and handling, but I want to go easy on you guys. But that's the thing. That's what I'm going to do, guys. I have to do it because, you know, and that's what it is. I don't want to be doing... I don't want to be doing tickets and this and that and stuff. It's only a burden. It's only, you know, a pain in the ass sending out envelopes and invoices and this and that. That's, that's not my gig, you know. Some people do it. Some people, you know, that's their, that's their, they want to do that, that's fine. That's it. That's it. If you want a car, you let me know. i tell you how much it is. Bang, I put it in a box. You PayPal, Venmo, my wife. Sometimes I don't even see the money that goes, you know, goes to my daughter. She take, yeah, yeah. Daddy, can I have fifty dollars? Yeah. Give her the fifty out of the Venmo money. That's the way it is when you have a kid. All right, guys. I held you here forty-two minutes. That's plenty. I'm not gonna put out a video for another month because you've been watching this one. Holy fool. Love you guys. Love you ladies. Thanks for watching. This is the Godfather. This is Eddie from Simple Customs. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to subscribe, you subscribe. If you want to get the hell out, get the hell out. <laughs> That's how I roll. This is what I say. It comes from the horse's mouth. If you don't like it, out you go. If you like it, you stay in the, stay in the circle. We don't have a circle here. We have a community. That's another thing I wanted to bring up, too. Some knucklehead over there. I don't even want to get it. Well, I did get involved a little bit. The guy texted me, and I told him how I was, you know. The kid, not a guy, the kid, whatever he is. Start saying stuff. I said, look, buddy, you've been on YouTube for two months. You know, you got to earn your stripes. And uh, if he's watching my video now, I, whatever. I don't, I don't know. I don't even know if he's a subscriber. I don't blog nobody. I don't care. Whatever someone wants to watch me. But if you're watching this, you know who you are and your buddies that went along with you. No one's trying to pull anything. No one's trying to do anything. We're all brothers here, that's all. And he won't even, I don't even think, you know, I don't even want to mention any names. I don't know. You know who you are. You know who was involved. That's it. Do the right thing, that's all. Play with your toy cars. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace.